I'm going to share everything I grabbed from Ulta's Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty sale, which in YouTube land is where? What happened to it? That's old news. But I also want to share a couple of new items that I grabbed and give you my overall thoughts on everything. So in reference to like skincare and, and tools and so forth that I grabbed, Fresh's Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is going to be a replenishment item. I always always use that toner more so for evening use and then i use my pixie glow tonic in the morning absolutely fantastic will never be without that now i did grab two beauty blenders i actually was just going to go ahead and get one but i figured for the price i think it was what ten dollars you might as well grab two so that's just gonna go with the other four five six however many i got stored away and then this is my um my new one which is uh, nice and wet ready for me to put on the foundation that i grab also estee lauder the radiant skin repair plus renew set now i misspoke on this one for some reason i thought the size of the advanced night repair was like a deluxe size sample it was a full size i'm like what I don't know what was wrong with me. Then you get the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. You get the uh, Revitalizing Supreme Cream. So I will use these two samples. This one is already in with my morning skincare routine. That was a steal. I was thinking, should I just buy two? No, just leave it at one. But this at $25, that was a steal. I hope you grab one too. That's a good serum that you like. Also grab the MAC Fix Plus. I use this each and every time I do my makeup without fail. I just prefer the original formula. This is mine that I'm using right now. It's in like a decorative bottle, which I can, you know, once I'm done, I can just, yeah, because I like, I like the little cutesy bottle. And then this will go in my fridge with the other four or three, however many bottles I keep on those. I have to have those on hand, have to have. The last day of the sale had the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And of course I grabbed that. This is something that I used more so in my 20s. For some reason, my mind goes exactly there. And then of course, you know, you discover other, other things and then you move on. So that's what that looks like. And I'll be actually using this as my base today. That's, you know, a primer because I want to test it with this new foundation that I also grabbed. So the vitamin enriched base base, I feel all skin tones can use it. You don't have to be necessarily, you know, dry skin, but it is great to just really prep your skin. Once you put it onto the skin and really work it in, this is what I tell people, you need to really work it in, just massage your skin. See how when you put your hands together, you're getting that warmth going on and then just press, pat it and just massage it into your skin. It has a light citrus scent like an orange peel. It's very, very light. I'm looking at my chip nails. Okay, I'm gonna throw this in because I, I did mention this in a recent haul video. Revlon's Ultra Snap HD vegan formula. It goes on great, beautiful, like one coat, boom, you're done. But it chips the next day. So I'll use it, but no. No, 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 no. We're gonna let that sit for a bit. It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta. I decided to get the Airbrush Flawless Foundation Brush, which is number 104. Cause the other brushes that they had advertised, I you know already had, but this one, which is more so that flat foundation brush, I really like these for when I'm using a, a natural highlight in the T-zone. So I'll put that on to apply it, kind of work it in and then use another tool. But this also works great for any type of a cream product, like cream highlighter, because you just focus the tip. Cream um, blush, perfect. So I wanted to try you know, their version of it because I have a couple other from other brands that I really like. So got that at a great deal. And then last is the It Brushes for Ulta, the brush bath. Again, I wasn't even thinking about getting this, but the more I looked at it, I said, okay, let me go ahead and try it against 
my number one, Whole Foods 365 Glycerin Soap. Now, they don't have the original version when I went to my store, so I just got the vitamin C. I'm sure it's gonna be the same. But I opened this up. This this little soap. You know, look at look how deep this this container is. Okay. And then in there was this little soap. This is the soap you get when you go to the hotels. Look at how thin that is. Okay, so it it cosmetics. This is a this is soap. This is a bar of soap. See see how thick it is. And then you're gonna give me this. On sale, this was what? I think this was like $11 on sale. We, we're just gonna stick, stick with this, but I will use it, of course, to use it up. <sighs> Don't keep I'm so gonna get me started with these brands. These brands. I swear, there's there's sometimes when these brands is literally work my nerve. For foundation, I did say I was gonna grab MAC's um, radiant version of their face and body foundation. Now this is in a complete reformulation and the colors I noticed is different too, even though MAC said it's not, uh-uh. Because -uh. in the original version, I am N7 and N7 in this is very dark. So I grabbed C7, which I was able to test it out in the store first, and C7 matches me just as if it's the original formula. Everything looks the same, same texture, yeah, everything. I think the difference is it's just a little bit more dewier when I was playing around with it. Today, for today's demo, I want to wear the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. So this was on sale. I want to say it's about half off. And I picked out the shade 315W, which is a perfect match. That's what it looks like. I always put my stuff down on a plate, but it's a little bit runny there. Texture is very light and it just blends right into my skin. See, it wasn't, it's not a good color match. I went sheer on that side, but this side's a little bit heavier. I did that on purpose just to see if the sponge would cover it up and it did. I did grab two shape tape, tart shape tape, because 53N, that is my current shade. However, I said, let me try the 47S, the tan deep shade, uh, excuse me, tan deep Sam, because my skin tone has gone up a shade. Everything is either too warm or it's just not neutral enough for me. It's the 47 Sand right there. And I like to use my pinky. Just place that onto my skin first. Kind of press this in. Wait until you see how beautiful this shade looks. Okay, see how flattering that looks? I I really do enjoy it. Their Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I grabbed Sheer Tan. This is something that was actually on my loves list for quite some time. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. You can use it as a setting powder. You can use it as an all over finishing powder. I was just playing around using it for under my eyes and again, my T-zone. It doesn't uh, settle into lines. It doesn't show any type of cake build up. It's talc free as well. So I'm happy that I finally was able to grab this. I don't know why I'm just late to the game as usual. No bronzer, blush, contour, eyeshadow palette, none of that. So let me do a little snap of my finger, a little Thanos snap, and then I'll come back. We'll do mascara, lips, and setting spray. Clinique's High Impact Mascara. I wasn't going to grab this, but I said, you know what? It's so good. Why don't you try it again? Well, I feel the same memories, uh, you know, high school and my 20s, so I went ahead and grabbed it. What I have not tried yet is the Lancome Mascara. This is the, I, how do you pronounce this? Idoli? Idol? Idol. We'll say Idol. 
Lash, lash lifting volumizing mascara and I grabbed glossy black so that's the mascara that was uh, like the surprise steal which I was surprised because I thought it would be the uh, Genevieve serum something that they always have in there I don't know why I smelled it I just I smell everything now I know I'm not alone with that so let me get this little bit close up here it's got a curved brush this a little bit oh oh you know what I need to do not that I need to but I've been I've been starting going back to do this is curling my lashes so I have natural naturally curly lashes okay so they get in the way every time I'm doing eyeliner but I want to do this because I want them to go up even more like, you know, those dolls, you know, like Annabelle, those dolls that are just whew, laying on the bed and then they open their eyes and it's like, doo, doo, doo. I want my, I want my lashes to be like that. I think I need the magnifying mirror. I need to get a stronger prescription of my contacts. No, I think actually I can do it. I think I could do it. Oh, okay. So this is a first impression. Again, first time using this. Zero clumps. It's separating. It's building. And it doesn't look clumpy. Huh. I like that. And it's easy to get right here in that inner corner and just fan it out. That is definitely staying here. Let's see if you can see. Probably can't really see. I don't think you can really see up close, but. Now let's move on to some lips, which I got quite a few. <sighs> so what else is new? Kylie's Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick. I only grabbed these because it's the new formula. So it's the vegan formula, clean. I'm about that life. This formula, the Kylie uh, formula is good for my lips. It doesn't dry out. I can reapply it good. Let's say later down during the day, I don't get no crusty ring, you know, on the lips. It just applies well. I look for that when I want to wear a liquid lipstick. I also picked up the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream. So that's what I had before in the past that were very old. Instead of grabbing Dolly, which has that mauve cooler tone, I decided to go with Hot Toddy and then White Russian. That's the way I remembered. It has that plumping action. It's not strong strong plump feeling and I'm happy to have those back into my collection. I also decided to grab the Tarte Marcuja uh, Juicy Lips. I noticed these are quite popular so I couldn't decide on the color. I grabbed Grapefruit and then I grabbed the shade Coconut which is a lot more of a nude shade. Now it's a great you know, packaging, it's that stick formula, which I actually prefer. You click up like a pen and then it starts to push up. Grapefruit was has that peach tone, which is what I prefer. It smelled exactly like coconut. And we're talking all day long. Ugh, I can't I can't take it because I'm allergic to coconut, so it may be like a, like a safety thing. When I smell it, it makes me physically ill. But this one that's called coconut doesn't smell like anything. I, I just assumed. I would I assumed it would smell like coconut. That is so strange to me. That made no sense. But uh, I, I went ahead and uh, returned grapefruit. Nope, I can't. I can't take that smell. You know, they titled it exactly what the overall appearance looks. It's nice and juicy, like my lips look full, and you have that high shine and a lot of hydration. So definitely gonna get some use out of that. I have two of the Beauty Bakery lip products. I wasn't gonna grab these, but they were actually in my loves list. So it was discounted, and I said, okay, go ahead and just go ahead and try it. So the lip gloss, which I'm not familiar with, I want it snickerdoodle. That's the, like a nudish tone. Um, brown that will look good on my skin tone, but it also doesn't have any glitter. And one liquid lipstick in my loves list, the Lip Whip Matte Liquid Lipstick. And it is in, I think it's cinnamon something. Oh no, it's Cranberry Stiletto. I first put this on and I was like, oh, 
That is a good red. I'm obsessed with red. Another probably rare individual you'll see that just grabs red. Like a lot of people like to grab nude. Their comfort zone is nude. My comfort zone is a good red. I Last lip products that I said I was not gonna grab, I wasn't interested in, but I did, I picked it up. I said, let me just try it. Let me just try it. It's by the uh, Smashbox, it's a brand. So I grabbed the Be Legendary lipstick in Recognize, which is that golden, almost like a toast shade. And then I grabbed the lip liner in Medium Brown. When I see the products, at a deeper discount than what you would get for pro, that's when I, I, I break my, my, my no, my no. This is a nice shade. It actually has like a slight peach tone to it. Mm, no smell. Okay, that, that is a lighter peach. Hold on a second. Does anybody else make sounds when they're going in and trying to find something? I always do that with my tongue. I don't know why I do that. It's a little tick. A little tick I have. Okay. Let's kind of blend that out. I feel like I want something a little bit darker on top. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, I know what. We'll just put a little item beauty. Little little lip quip. I think that's what that's called. Oh, you got a little page. And come through. Uh-huh. Come through is coming through. So it's on that little glass effect. Mmm. Oh, so much better. The last product I have not used yet, it came on the last day as well. It's the Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. But I did say I wanted to grab this. It was on my loves list. And I've heard so much feedback on this spray. Oh, it has two caps. Here's the big one and the small one. I will just put the small one probably away and just stick with one cap. Okay, let's see, let's see what we're working with. Very fine, fine mist. Mmm, I like it's like a it's like a cloud. I don't even really smell anything either. I don't see any like big droplets or nothing. That mist is very fine. So it is the lightweight micro fine mist. Lock on makeup, softens the look of pores, feels weightless. That is weightless. That is weightless. Curious to see, is it gonna make me look, I don't think I look matte, huh? Huh, okay. We'll see. I will put a pinned comment. So before I work out, I take my makeup off. So I'll leave a pinned comment to see how the foundation has worn throughout the day and the setting spray as well. Thank you for stopping by and watching me put on my products I grabbed from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and just my overall thoughts couple first impressions on a few things. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Wonderful evening. Look out for each other. Look out for yourself, of course. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.